Okay, so here's a cool little app for working with type. Um, I like to work with photos, but I also like to work with type. I like poetry. I like inspirational life quotes. Uh, I just like to work with type. So this one is called Word Swag. So I'm just going to, uh, again, you can use the button on the left, and as in most apps, that little camera button to take an image on the fly. I don't ever do that. I always have images stored, so I click the one on the right. Now, they give you a lot of options in here for background, so if you don't have anything or you're not feeling very creative, you could use one of the backgrounds in here. In fact, maybe I will, and I, I could go to my camera roll if I want. I'm just going to go down here. There's a couple photos. Every time they update the app, they seem to add more background, so you know maybe I'll just choose this one. Okay, and it gives me the option in here to um, add my text. So it says double tap, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to click the little X to get rid of the existing text. And just by magic, I happen to have one in, my, uh, in memory on my phone, so I'm just going to paste it in. And when I'm ready, I can click Save and Close. And you'll see there are three categories. The A, when you see the capital A and the small A, that's where you're making text decisions, where you're deciding on what, what style, what filter to use for the text. The middle one is for color, and the one on the right is for adjusting transparency and background brightness. So we're gonna start with the one on the left, and you can see that I can scroll through here. There are some presets that I can use. And not only do you choose a preset, but then you have five buttons at the bottom where it gives you five different styles. I don't use a lot of these. Some of these I would absolutely never use. But for example, if I chose uh, Paper Hearts, and that one's kind of light, you really can't see it, so maybe I should change the color of the text. So I click the button in the middle, and here I can use a bunch of presets. I can even use ones that apply different colors. Actually, you know, I'm not fond of this font, but maybe that looks not too bad. Um, and I could try, you know, different combinations to try to find something that really suits it. And I can click and drag and move it around and rotate it if I want to. There's that button on the right where I can adjust the transparency of the text and I can adjust the background brightness. So if I wanted to use lighter colors, I could make the background darker and vice versa. So you can do those changes with that button on the right. When you click done, it's gonna automatically save your image. So don't do that yet. But again, I can go back over here to the button on the left and I can try some different styles. I like plain, so I use this one a lot. Um, and again, I can click the buttons at the bottom and try the different combinations, resize the boxes if I want to. So that one's not too bad. Uh, you can have it be multicolored if you want. You can choose these multicolor ones or you can go in and choose some of the presets here from the different colors. There's a lot to pick from. You can also invert it. So if you had a bolder font, you could actually have the image be appearing in the text when you do the invert. Uh, lots of cool options here. Um, I'm going to go up and try a different one, maybe um, you know, just maybe something like this. So again, it will give you different options. I can move this around, put this wherever I want it. When I'm finished, I can click done. It goes out and saves it for me. It gives me the option to also, um, I can go back in, if I can click the left arrow, go back in and rework it, or I can go right here and post to social media if I want to. So that's a really cool one that I like called Word Swag. You're limited only by your imagination with this one.